up for my family, for my life, for my kids and for my wife. I level up, level up, level up, level up. Let's get to work. Here we go, guys. Episode number three, One Percenters Club. Guys, this video is going to be about how to scale any car dealership overnight. Guys, it's Andy Elliott here today. I'm here with John O. Johnson, right? I always see on your Facebook, it says John O. Johnson. So if you want to look the guy up on Facebook, he's here. John, introduce yourself. Obviously, I'll tell you a little bit about him in two seconds. I want you to meet him. He's amazing. Uh, John has four stores. He's from Texas. Absolute savage. Me and, me and John have known each other for how long? 90 plus days. 90 days? 90 days. And today we ran, hell, five to seven miles out in the mountains. Went and rocked and rolled. We have a business relationship, a friend relationship. We've got the same ideas about the car business. This is the best time in the world. The next five years are going to be everything. And right now, it is a seller's market. It's hot. Uh, okay. John, introduce yourself. So John Johnson from Amarillo, Texas. That's it, guys. So what are your stores? What are your four stores you got? So we have Country Toyota, which is in Pampa, Texas, along with a Chevrolet store, Buick GMC store at the same location. And then we have in Borger, Texas, we have a Chevrolet Buick GMC store. And then in Amarillo, Texas, we have two independent stores, one of those being my original store for 20 plus years. Okay. So obviously the title today is going to be how to scale any car dealership very fast. Now, I've been in the business for a very long time. And by the way, John, how long have you been in the business for? 30 years. 30 years. I've been in 23. So you're getting the experience right here. He's an owner of the store. So what I want you to know is this is something that would be great for any salesperson, sales manager, and definitely an owner to listen to. Definitely. Listen, and I'll tell you this right now. It's, as we're shooting this video right now, it's April. We're shooting the April Master Closer Seminar. John has flown out. We're in Scottsdale, Arizona. We're about to destroy it for the April 11th Master Closer Seminar. John, how many people did you bring out on your team today? Uh, there'll be 11 up here today. 11. How, much, how many did you bring last month? Uh, 10. And the month before? 10. Guys, I'll do you see it? Listen, I always say there's a difference between being interested and being committed. John is completely committed. And I want to tell you that since me and him have partnered together, it's, it's absolutely insane. And by the way, we always say this in sales, earn the right to ask for somebody's business, right? That's right. I met this guy out of the blue. It was simple. One of your general managers reached out, Alex, great guy, says, hey, Andy, what's up? We got some guys that need to level up. It's normally how the conversation goes. What can you do for us? We talked about some ideas. I said, hey, John, or Alex, when I was talking to Alex, I said, hey, let's get on the phone with, with John. I want to meet you, but also I want to talk to John. You got a bunch of stores. Let's talk about some options. Well, we talked about the online. We got a killer online training program, and you're like, man, I want to come see what you do in live, right? And you're a visual guy. Yep. By the way, John is a wrestling coach, right? Yep. Or you were a wrestling coach, grew up wrestler, and, and he okay. still coaches guys all, uh, everywhere. In his dealership, Full of drive, full of uh, passion and desire. Passion in this business is everything. One of the number one reasons why our sales training program is destroying it is because the passion we truly have, truly, for the automotive sales business. That's right. I'm just telling you, like, there's a lot of people that are doing different things out there and they're a little bit excited. We are ate up with it. Some people are hungry. We're starving, Okay. We're starving. Our, our company grew 40% last month. John, last month, did your company grow? No. Oh, yes, it did. Okay, listen, when you hear that, that is a beautiful sound. And look, and John is getting his team battle tested. So right now, at the time that this podcast get released, the car business is on fire. It truly is. But there's always an end to all things. It's a seller's market, but guess what? That will switch. At some point, there will be a switch. That's right. And guess what? That market, that market space, that piece of the pie, John is training his team to attack and to get that piece of the pie when the market shifts. Now, right now, while it's hot, you're going to take all you can, but you're preparing for the switch, for when things do change. And that's what winners do. Winners are always prepared. And there's a difference between being prepared and truly prepared. I want to tell you about his leadership, and then let's talk about some training. But let's talk about your leadership, right? You reached out to me. You love your team, right? That's right. That's right. He's had a massive love for his team. And, you know, I, I always say this, like, maybe getting in the friend zone. You know what I'm saying? Like, if anybody understands what that means, guy, girls, meets, you get in the friend zone, and then you can't ask for the business, right? John is so close to his team, and he loves his team, and he's pushed them. 
And he reaches out and says, hey, man, could you take my team and make them as passionate? If anybody's watched my training, you guys see the energy that I have. You see it. If you could bottle it up and sell it, you could sell it for trillions. Me and my team are jacked up, we're fired up, we're motivated. John's like, is it possible to take that energy and that passion you guys have, and could you push that into my team? Now, a lot of people say they can do it, right? I mean, look, you've, you've trained on multiple training programs in your life. Cardone, Verdi, uh, I'm sure there's a tons of other ones, right? That's right. That's right. Yeah. Okay, and so he, he's tasted what's good, and then he is aware that there's something in the world that would probably be amazing. You just hadn't got your hands on it. Well, guess what? I was telling John, that's me. And John's like, hey, man, look, I've been doing this for a long time. Let's get a little tasty taste and check it out. So what happened? You came down. This is when we were in Oklahoma before we moved our entire company out to Scottsdale, Arizona. You came out. What did you think about the first Master Closer Seminar? And this is going to be about how to scale any car dealership overnight. But I want to talk about this first, and then we're going to get into the meat and potatoes on how to do it. What did you think about the first training session? Well, can I back up just one yeah, second? Yeah, done. So you got me on the phone, or I got on the phone with you, and I'd been wanting to call you for like a month, but I just was busy. Got on the phone, and it was Wednesday. Super Bowl Sunday was Sunday. Mm, and you right. said, hey, seminars on Sunday, won't you come? Just come. And I go, okay, can I bring a few guys? And you said, bring all you want. So I gave you a list, and we brought 10, counting me, that day, and they didn't ask questions because they believed in what we were doing. Your leadership. And I didn't ask questions because I saw it in your eyes and the communication. And so I go, I'm there. And you go, you're there? I said, we're there. We're, we're done. We're there. Can I bring 10? And you said yes. That was Super Bowl Sunday. Everyone had plans. Yeah, look, guys, some people watch Super Bowls, and I hope this doesn't offend anybody, and some people make Super Bowl commercials. I'm just saying John is interested in making Super Bowl commercials. The guy sacrificed his Super Bowl Sunday to bring his team out. So did your team. That's right. By the way. And so what happens? You come out. We rock and roll, right? It was great. I mean, I, I, obviously, I know his people like the back of my hand. How did they perform when they went back? Well, they changed the culture around. So they came in, and they had some inspiration, motivation, because they had been in association with some winners. And they had belief in them. And they had some areas in their business that they were in their in their work that they were missing and what was amazing what you did and I'm just going to tell you as a coach I could get in with a uh, an athlete and I could watch him I could think with him and I could see where his holes were in his game and I could teach him pretty quick well it's like you read their eyes and you knew their holes and you fixed them almost instantly and we didn't know the fix until they got back to the stores and the one, I had no idea. I couldn't figure out why certain guys couldn't do certain things. I was just stuck. I was in the forest. I couldn't see the forest for the trees. And you pinpointed each one separately, which was amazing. And they came back and they began to take their business to another level along with the team. And they were telling the other guys, you need to get there. It's changing the game. Did they push energy on the other guys as they, they came back in the store? massive energy. And I'm an energy guy. Yeah. But I was like in it and I couldn't. I, it's like I'm pushing them, but it was just like almost roadblocked. Okay, so listen, the title of this is How to Scale Any Car Dealership Overnight. So let's fast forward. We're going up two months after this. Uh, obviously, we flew in. We did train John's team. I'm not telling you that that's what you got to do. I'm not telling you got to send your guys out to a master closer seminar. I'm not telling you got to do an online training program. But a lot of us in this business are visual people. Would you agree? Yeah, that's right. Your guys are visual. And we run a mad hype game, but we teach massive skill. The reason why a lot of owners right now, okay, if they're not making what they should be making in dealers and GMs and everybody, or you're not scaling at the level that you want to scale, is because, number one, it all starts at middle management. Would you agree? Uh, yes. Okay, if your managers don't agree and don't buy in that your salespeople should be able to level up, train, and get better every day, they're not going to, Okay. We got salespeople that all individually come out that their dealerships have nothing to do with. They just fly out month to month. Yep. And those guys are killing it. We just talked about Jesse Cloud a minute ago. Uh, guy's 19 years old. John just met him. He's been in the training program. He comes every quarter. Guys, he just broke his company store record for 30 years. He's 21 years old now. And he made $25,000 last month. Look, that right there, he's got 20-year veterans in his store. 
telling them, you know, what's what, you know, how great he can do, yep. how many cars the company has ever sold, what's possible. But the kid believes what's possible right here. And we taught it to him right here in the Master Closer Seminar. And he has attacked. John, your same guys have been out to this event, yep. right? Now that you've had three months of cycling your people too, and I'm, I'm not going to get off topic with yeah. how to scale a car dealership overnight. What has your dealership done? Like if, and, and not to get okay. into all the numbers and net and all that, but just tell me what changes have had happened since we've plugged in for 90 days? So back up a second. We've been working really, really hard for a long time. Okay. Like really hard in lots of areas. But the last 90 days, call it a perfect storm, call it whatever you want to call it. Sure. But our net profit, 400 times more. Okay. L l let's repeat that one more time. Your net profit. Net profit, 400 times more. 400 times more. Now, listen. That's, I, mean, it's, I, I won't yeah. say who it is, but you were training with another training program. Am that's, I right? That's great. Yeah, quite a few different ones, actually, yes. Okay. Now, listen, that shows you that John believes in training as men. Yeah. Now, when John reached out, he said, hey, man, I've already got training. But I, and by the way, John wasn't saying I can't do your training, but he said I already have training. And I said, look, I'm not re looking to replace any training you have. And you have. I mean, we're, yeah. Yeah. I said, all yeah. I want to do yeah. is let your guys get a taste That's right. of some 21st century training that I believe isn't outdated. We'll teach your guys new skill. We'll get them energized, jacked up, ready to come to work, more passionate about this business yeah. than they've ever been. And if that could happen, what would that be worth to you? John says, well, everything. I said, cool, man, come test it out. John does. He comes test it out. We give up Super Bowl. Here we are 90 days later, 400 times net. I want to say this to you. In your dealership, it all starts. Middle management is the ultimate game changer. Yep. It's not up to the salespeople to decide to sell more cars. Yep. It's up to the managers to decide that they're not admin people anymore. Yep. Okay? They're not admin. It's not their job. It is their job to submit deals, to make sure that deals go through, to watch the CIT you know, to make sure that the cars are punched after we sell them. Yep. You know what I mean? To check the CRM. But what our job is to do is to battle test our frontline soldiers. Okay? When you first got in, somebody pushed you. Somebody was really passionate. There was someone that was there, and, and hopefully they inspired you to go farther. And obviously you wanted it on your own, but there was someone telling you that this business was the best business in the world. As an owner, as a you know, as a GM, as a manager, whatever training you're on, you want reinforcement daily from that trainer to be telling your people that you're in the best opportunity any man or woman could ever have, which is the automotive space. That's the right. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you, your guys need to hear that in every training video. Yep. Every training video. They need to be constantly reminded, right, that this business can change their life. Dead, broken, on E, have nothing, right? No big deal. That can change this month. All you got to do is triple down on your training. Having a tough day? Train. Having a great day? Train. Right? It never changes. We level up every day until we die. And, and John, and I'm going to tell you this. Can I talk about you for a second? Is sure. that okay? That's All right. Yeah. Cool, because, you know, I don't want to leave anything off limits because I want <laughs> us to be real because every day, and, and, you know, me and him today, we just got done running through the mountains and pushing herself. And guys, John, I'm 41. John's 53. 50, well, 53 next month, yes. Oh, this, this month. This yeah, month. Yeah, yeah, happy birthday. John's 53 this month. Guys, John is running backwards up the hill ahead of me. That, I mean, and, and by the way, man, I'm in great shape, but John trains relentlessly. Now, for a guy like this that trains relentlessly, obviously about mental, pushing himself, has all the dealership, what happens is sometimes you can get caught being busy instead of productive, okay? And I told John, first thing is, I said, John, you're amazing. I'm just going to tell you, I'd love to work for you. You're incredible. I love everything about it. But look, we got to back up for a second, and you have to start with you, and then we can start with your team. And, man, I'm going to tell you this. He has gone to a level I've never seen. Like, the change that you've had has been like that. Now, you were obviously amazing before I got with you, but you've recreated here. You've looked at your people and say, man, you know what? Enough's enough. We're right. not going to be number two anymore. We're going to be number one. That's right. And that was a choice that you made. Yep. Now, sure, you provided them with the tools that they need, which I help provide on how to get there, but you flipped the switch. And for any manager, salesperson, or any, look, here's my goal. At this Master Closer Seminar, which we have starting here in about 30 minutes, okay, all these chairs out here, all 400 of them, each one of them are future GMs, every single one of them.
That's right. They're future owners. And as I see those chairs, I think about you watching this right now, even if you're not an owner or GM, I see you watching this and being like, man, you know what? Dang. You know, like, that's me. That's why I would keep listening, because I'm going to go through the same things that he's going to go through. Leaders make leaders. And what you got to do is being sick and tired. You got to get sick and tired of being sick and tired of having the results that you're getting. And by the way, you've had good results. You go to sleep on a win, you'll wake up with the loss. We never, ever can get enough. And it's not because we won more, want, want more. It's just because we're champions. It's not about the dough. Yep. You know what I mean? I mean, you could net $2 million a month. Who cares? Yeah, sure, you can, you can put the money in there, but your goal is you want to breed champions in your dealership. Someone told me a long time ago when I was younger, when you walk up to a car dealership and you meet their salespeople, their salespeople are a direct reflection of the person running that store. You only get what you tolerate. I want to ask you this for anybody watching. You want to scale a car dealership overnight? Walk into your dealership. Have somebody go in and shake somebody's hand. Is that what you want? Okay? Is that the way they should be greeted? Is that the love they should have? Is that the skill level that they should have? Is that the energy that you want running around on your showroom floor? You know what I'm saying? We got to decide that right now, the next five years are going to be insane in the car business. It is time to recreate your sales line. It is time to recreate your internet department. Every single customer that comes into your store, if you act like your competition, they're going to treat you like your competition. That's right. It's time to be different. John, we talked about social media, right? That's right. John's guys go live on Facebook every day. I go live. John goes live. This is crazy. Did you ever go live before? Not once. You know what I told John? I said, look, I'm going to tell you this. He's got a community around him. He loves him. If you own a store, if you're a salesperson, and you want to be a GM one day, you know who's going to help your dealership go to the top? The damn community. Am I right? You're right. That's it. You got to love people. Well, guess what? I told John, man, I'm like, John, dude, John loves his community. He loves people. People don't know. If they don't know who John is, what he does, where he's at, you know what I'm saying? They don't know what they don't know. I said, John, you got to get on Facebook. You got to go live. You got to learn to live out loud. John looks at me like I'm crazy. Guess what happens? 400 times his net. Watch this. Your salespeople, they go live every day. Every day. I remember the first time we were in his dealership teaching his salespeople how to become the person of interest in their backyard and dominate the market. Guess what? I said, you guys aren't salespeople. You're trusted guides. You're advisors. We're going to show you how to be you know, this person that we want you to be. We did it with management. We did it with your sales managers. We did it with the GMs. We did it with John. And guess what? Here's the cool thing. Nobody bucked the system. They right. still don't buck it or fight it to this day. We talked about sales managers. When we did management training, we talked about sales managers. Can you tell me, based on the beginning, how to, how to scale a car dealership overnight? What is a meeting for? Hmm. To literally light your guys on fire. How many times do you have sales meetings now? Uh, we have, we actually, we have a sales meeting, main sales meeting, three days a week, but we, my guys meet three times a day. Okay. And you have two big sales meetings I see, on one on Thursday going into the weekend. Oh, is yeah. that right? Or Friday? One, is it Friday? On, one on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Okay. Yep. So on, on all the salespeople, right, yep. they have that big one I've seen you launch on Fridays and that's on right. Mondays. Yes, that's correct. How crazy are your managers getting on getting good on these sales meetings? They're so good, it's hard to pick. I mean, they, they are, uh, it's amazing, and they're having fun doing it. Watch this. Before we started training, did your sales managers have competitions on sales meetings? Absolutely not. Okay. They didn't even know how to have a sales meeting. It was more like this. Hey, man, look, dude, did you, did you park your car back? Right? Do you got anything working? What do you got today? How now, many cars you got out? Yeah, how many cars you got out? How many are you going to sell? How many are you tracking? Going over their numbers, right? Look, dude, after this, John's guys are insane. Every week, I'm in a text line with all of his managers. It is absolutely nuts. Every single dealership will scale with powerful sales meetings. So here's what they're doing, Andy, just like you said, but they're putting a on a show every Monday and Friday worth paying for. It's a show, and it goes live, and they compete, and they get pissed when they lose. Dude, camaraderie and competition. Mm -hmm. So between all your stores, they record their sales meetings. They get jacked up, fired up, motivated. Your salespeople, yeah. your salespeople yeah. want the managers yep. to win that week. And guess what? 
you're not doing it by throwing a lot of cash money out there in spiffs. You'll spiff the guys and stuff. The car business is great for cash spiffs and stuff. We, we quit the spiffs and went to this, and the production's been 10 times better. Just because it's hype. That's right. Guys, you look, if you could sell energy in a bottle, right, you'd go buy it. Seriously. Well, they do buy it. Hell, it's called energy drinks. Okay. But the idea of it is, is that, look, the hype and the energy is the passion for this business. People need to fall yep. back in love with this business. And most of them have never fallen in love with it. They just needed the job. And they got told by other people around there that this is an okay business. Sometimes it's a grind and this and that. That ain't it at all. Well, our customers, what's crazy is my guys have fell in love with this business. And the customers have fell in love with them. They don't want to leave. And they want to bring their friends there. It's like a celebration every day. They, they want to be there. I mean, it's amazing the difference. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you this just from watching this. If you just had something to write with and you could say, all right, let's just take some quick notes. Number one, John went all in and literally spent his money, right, to grow his business. It's called an investment. Guess what happened? Boom, it happened. He grew his team overnight. His managers, it wasn't an option for them to be a part of the training. It's mandatory. Am I right? That is correct. Cool. On top of this, as busy as John is. He has multiple stores. You have tons of other things going on. You are still involved in the training. Oh, dude, right? they, they don't out-train me. I work harder to train more. I want to I do more faster, quicker, so I have to get up a little earlier. And part of my workout is training also with headphones on. Okay, so listen, bigger, better, faster, stronger. Everybody's got the same 24 hours. That's right. Same 24 hours. There's zero freaking excuses. Zero. So if you want to scale any dealership overnight, here's what I'll tell you. I think it's as simple. Coming from an owner, if you're watching this, number one, dude, buy into the, to getting your people great. Buy into it. The market's good right now. It's really good. It wasn't good. Remember last year, everybody had a good year. What are you going to do this year? You're going to top it. You're going to beat it. You're going to scale it. How to scale your store, train your men. Remember, I was so passionate about selling cars when I was younger. I was the most fired up, passionate guy in the world. Imagine if you had a whole dealership with it. You were the same way. It's time for us right now not to have onesies and twosies running around the store that get it, which is in most stores right now. Everybody can get it. Last month, you had how many people hit 20 cars that have never hit 20 cars before? Tons of them, right? Yeah, actually, we had five employee, our salesmen, hit 21 that have never hit it before. That's amazing. 21 plus, actually. Yeah. Your average now is going up on your sales floor. Your store is selling more cars. Your gross per copy is increasing. And the culture of the store. Can we just talk about that? Sure. I walked into your showroom floor. I see a salesman literally just like they're, it's like heaven on earth. Like they seem like they're in the best damn place in the world. How do you create that culture? It starts at the top. That's right. Okay, your managers, you tell them every day, what do they got to do? Show their guys massive amounts of love, yep. right? Also, on top of that, if people don't know who you are, where you're at, what you do, they're not going to come to you. Your competition out there right now, they're not getting on social media. They're not doing it. You know what they're doing? They're busy, they're busy, and they're busy. John has replaced busy with productive. That's right. Everybody has a schedule what time they got to get on social media. They have an idea that every day they got to get out there, even if they don't know what to say. What was that one of your lot porters? Right? Yes. When I'm in there, guys, his lot porter was one of the first one to go live, and he gets on there, and I remember he goes, man, I'm extremely nervous. I don't know what to say. This He said this on camera, which is yeah. great. It means he's vulnerable. That's right. And he says, hey, I'm really nervous. I don't know what to say, but these guys are making me do this. He was shaking. He I, was shaking. Yeah. Yeah, and he goes, but I do want to say that I love people, and if anybody would love to ever purchase anything or even to take a test drive or – just get it. Hell, I'll detail your car for free. I just want to tell you, I'm here to give you world-class customer service and serve you at the highest level. He ended his life. He sold two cars that next day off that live. That's crazy. Now, that lot porter, who was your lot porter when we made him shoot it, it was his first month last month. That was, he was a lot porter when you came. The next day, he wanted to go into sales, but he'd been training and studying for a month before. Before. And I said, you cannot come into sales until you train first. So he's training before hours and after hours, and he came in as a lot porter, listened to you, looked you in the eyes, and you said you need to get to selling. And last month he sold uh, 17 cars. 17 cars, first guys. Month. First month. Yeah. 
Lot Porter gets in the game, does the training, goes all in. Here's what I'll tell you. John, and I want to say this. If anybody's watching this and they're like, hey, man, you know what? How do I get some information on training? I want to say this. We have a cell phone. We put it up all the time. It's 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. Before we end this, I want to say something. If you were to speak to any manager, and I want you to think about this, right? right like, just like it's your team. Any manager, any salesperson that's going to be a future leader, any owner, Anybody out there that decides they want more of this business, and really this advice you're probably going to give could work in any industry, but if they're in the car business, what would you tell them to do right now? As you've been going through these last 90 days, really truly finding a new you, because you've recreated yourself. Am I right? Sure, yes. You know what I mean? You've been pushing yourself harder than ever. Yeah. It's cost sacrifice. It's cost money. But what's happened is that you've created something that you've been looking for your whole life, which is everybody's on the same damn page. Pulling the same rope. That, there you go. See, he's, I see, see we all, we, everybody's got their own little deal. And that is what I'm talking about. Nobody's on a different mission. The selflessness of, hey, man, I just got to make money. I just got to make money in the store. It kills turnover when everybody gets on the same page. Yeah. When you walk into dealership and you see everybody excited, jacked up, fired up, excited to be there in love with this business like yeah. we are, right? That's right. Dude, you can't help but to feel, if you're a customer, that you're in the right place. So my guys, you know, what's great about it is my guys work with each other. They help each other. And not saying they weren't helping each other before, but they were, but now they all help each other. They're not splitting deals. They're just working together. But the management, here's what happened. Middle management. Actually, yeah, so managers listen yeah, up. This is important. Yeah, this, is, this, is, this, is, this, is, this was the change. So I have great guys, and they all work hard. They're great family men. They, do, they, they live a great life, but they were going in different directions. And you came in, and you said, hey, what's wrong with you? You said a lot of things to them behind closed doors. I left. And they came out after six hours, and they've all been trained their whole life. They've all been trained hard. And they hate meetings. So they hate meetings. They weren't given meetings. They hate meetings. And they came out and said, that's the best I've ever been to. And instantly, those guys changed. Now, these are 40, 50, 60-year-old men who have been in the car business 30-plus years. Instantly, they changed. That was the switch. So when they changed, then everyone else saw that. So I could work with the salesman all day, but they would hit middle management. We weren't speaking the same language, and it was broken. But as soon as they connected it, the dots connected, the rope came the same direction, we began to pull the same direction. And they're training harder. I mean, I'm, I'm watching them now, Those man, this is middle management, right? Training their cars on the way to work and leaving work. So that's a huge deal. And let me ask you this, and this is important, right? Because yeah. anybody that's watching this right now is like, hey man, most of the time I've had a training program, we have to make our men train, we have to force them. Do you feel like your guys want to do this training? Yeah, they look forward to it every day. They want to train, and they are doing it. And, you know, here's at the end of the day, here's the bottom line. I just said it. I'm all in. If you want to be on my team, great. If you don't, it's cool. But you just can't be on my team if you're not going to work on yourself and become a better man first or a woman and work with the training that you're giving because this is the real deal. Guys, I love it because I want to use it. I want to sell so bad, you can't even imagine. I want to be on the floor every day day selling. That's my passion. I want to do it. Yeah. And that's anybody that's watching this right now that's been in the business for a long time, you can probably resonate with John's passion. What is burnout? Burnout comes when there's no training. Well, dude, people ask me all the time, what are you doing this for? You're 53 years old. I go, man, I am just getting started. That's damn right. I love it. And listen, guys, if you want to, and by the way, if you don't mind this, yeah. if somebody wants a message, you reach out to you, there's an owner, there's yeah, a, a sure. manager, a GM, somebody that's just like, hey, man, you know, I want to get a reference on Andy, whatever, right? Yeah. Um, you know, obviously, anybody can make their uh, – one thing about the car business is gut instinct, yeah. okay? There's a lot of, a lot of flim-flam, a lot of bull crap out on the market. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I can do this. Do I do slideshow bull crap with your guys, or do I teach them how to be the best? You teach them how to be the best. That's it. That's what any manager, owner, GM wants. They want someone to come in. And, and I like fast results, okay? I love fast wins. I love them. I'm addicted to them. Who doesn't? I mean, the car okay. business, I mean, yeah. you know, we made money. We're like, oh, my God, I'm never leaving this. 
you know. But the idea of it is if somebody wanted to reach out, could they DM you on Facebook? Yeah, they can DM me on Facebook. I, yeah, John O. Johnson. Yeah, John O. Johnson. Yeah. He's in Amarillo, Texas. DM him on Facebook. Get with Just Andy, get my questions. number. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, or, you know, text me, 918-210-0254. I'll be happy to throw you his number. But the idea of this is how to scale a car dealership overnight. John Johnson did it. Now, look, there's a lot of people right now, and you know this. They're making more money right now than they've ever made. Even in a shortage of inventory and everything going on, they've made more money. Well, look, that deal is eventually at some point going to have a correction. That's right. When that correction comes, you're either going to do one or two things. Number one, you're going to say, hey, well, my team's battle tested. And even if the market yeah. share went down, we're taking more of the market. Sorry, we're not going down. We're going to keep growing. That's right. right. Or number two, you're going to make excuses. And you're going to say, well, you know, there was a correction. You know what I mean? We're out of cars. We're out of this. We're out of that. No. Nah. So you weren't ready. Yeah, so you may, I just had a thought pop up. So when I was 23 years old, the owner of the store that I worked for, who had one store, now he has 18 stores. But he said, we were in a meeting, and we were training. He says, boys, business isn't always like this. It's a tough, hard business. And you better train, and you better get really, really good at it. And you better do it daily. I'm in the room with 18 guys. And so I said, yeah, it is pretty good. I didn't know how good it was. You know, basically at that time, kind of like the time now, if you could fog a mirror, you're buying a car. Yeah. What it did to a lot of guys, though, it messed them up because they thought they were better than they were. And then they're in it for, you know, six months, eight months down the road, the market changed, and they quit. It's mm -hmm. kind of like taking vitamin C every day. I take vitamin C every day I have for 30 years and a multivitamin, 30 years plus. A lot of people don't take multivitamin vitamin C till they get sick. And then they cram it all in thinking they're going to get better. And it's this up and down roller coaster, and it's just kind of a waste of vitamin C, basically. But if they stay consistent with it, over time and then all of a sudden when someone like Andy like you popped in and you go hey let's do this let's put a little twist to it let me show you something and then it was a rocket that took off and my guys were prepared but they train every day now they're training at a whole nother level they're competing every day they're competing they're in front of a camera on Wednesday we're battle we're battling every Wednesday on zoom with all the stores on who gets who gets the win who who can do it the best and they hate to lose and it's awesome to see him progress. Damn, John. John is the man. Guys, listen, I just want to tell you, and obviously we won't run this too long because, you know, people have a certain amount of time they can sure. watch stuff. Yeah. I'm going to tell you this. This guy's amazing. He's one of the most incredible people in the world, and I mean that. He's one of my friends. I want to do something. Look, John, yeah, you sure. see this right here? See this little bracelet? I know you guys probably can't see this. This is the devil whispered, you can't withstand the storm, and the warrior replied, I am the storm. Hmm. You see, this right here, me and all my coaches wear this. Dude, if you walk around awesome. here, we got 20 guys that have these on, okay? And we wear this every day because we're, ba we're battle-tested. We are warriors. We're ready to take anybody on, anytime, any place, head on head. Sell skill, we're prepared, truly prepared. John, I want to give this to you. Dude, that's awesome. Dude, that's for John right there. And listen, here's the deal. Wear it until every day until you die. Wear it like your wedding ring. And we'll always it. remind you, okay? Yeah. Self-doubt, self-doubt, glass ceilings, okay? All the things that we're all too familiar yeah. with. No more. Never again. And guess what? Even if it isn't great, we're going to go get what's ours. That's right. No one's ever going to put a, a, a roadblock in the way of us again. If they do, we're going to run it over. We're going to work like hell. We're going to give it all we got. We're going to have an amazing life. We're going to create our own life, right? And we're not going to talk about it. We're going to be about it. And whatever you say you're going to do, just do it all the way, okay? And if we're in this automotive space, guess what? Let's rock it. Let's become damn legends. Here's the deal. Thank you very much for this. That means you a bet. Lot. I want you're a part of, of our team. I saw that. I go. I want that. Yeah. So we wear them and we yeah. give them to our team. But John is a part of our team. And look, yeah. and it has nothing to do with business. Yeah, that's awesome. It literally has nothing to do with business. What it has to do with yep. is his commitment. Is un. It's unreal. I always say this: Are you interested or are you committed? There's a lot of people interested in having a better sales team. But there's few that are committed. And the ones that are yeah. committed, they're unstoppable. Good, great, and unstoppable. If you want to have a relentless, unstoppable team that you can count on for your entire life, yeah. now's the time to build it. So I would tell you something. So this is what you told me. You, we were talking about inventory, right? And you said, dude, 
why don't you have any inventory? Markets changing, markets weird. He said, you said, are you scared? I go, I'm not scared. You remember the conversation? Yeah. I go, I'm not scared. Yeah, because your lot was naked. Yeah, it was naked. I, he says, are you playing offense or defense? And he left, and I went out, and I bought, and I got I, I mean, I'm telling you, we had a great month. One reason is because we're playing offense. We weren't worried for them to come to us. We just went and bought. We bought, and we paid retail. We're still paying retail. We're doing better than we've ever done because we're playing offense. He doesn't want to pay retail, but he knows without cars you can't sell them. That's right. Look, I don't care. And by the way, I'm sure he's got independent buyers and wholesalers and guys in, in, in nooks and crannies and holes and everybody digging for every yeah. car they can find, just like everybody. But the difference is yeah. he's not playing defense anymore. But through the training – you pay more than you've ever paid. Your margins are super bigger because my guys are better. And they're holding bigger grosses and paying more for vehicles. So we're getting more trades back. And it's a vicious, amazing cycle that we're getting. That and your into. customers are happier in hell Happy. because they have no freaking friction yeah. because the sales pros are freaking great at walking them through the experience. Our customers want jobs with us. Damn. And by the way, hey, and I just want to say this. And look, and there's a lot of owners that are watching this. Um, a lot of owners have reached out to you and talked to you. Hey, what about Andy Elliott? I'm thinking yeah. about doing training with him. Yeah. John is a great guy. Listen, he's just a normal person just like me, but we're not doing normal stuff. We've decided that, look, average people, Norman pe normal people, people that have come from the sewer, people that have whatever in life, now's the time where they can go get what's theirs. They just have to go all in. There's no half-ass in it anymore. So anyways, our, our partnership with him is, is incredible. Um, he's amazing. I keep it very professional, all about business. I do have a side friendship with him that I do push because I love the brotherhood of the car yeah. business. I really do. Yeah. Guy's done it 30 years. I did it 23 as of this yeah. date. We're shooting this video, and I'm ate up with it. Yeah. I love sales. I love sales in all industries. I, I love, love it more than I've ever loved it. That's it. Yeah. You're falling back in love yeah. with becoming great, and yeah. guess what? It is easy. It's like taking sheeps to the slaughterhouse right now. It's never been easier to be great if you're training your team. Think about this and ask yourself this question. Is your competition out there training? No, they're not. They're out there soaking up what they can. They're living off last year's money. They're making a little money right now. When there's a correction, you're going to pop them. That's it. And I'm just going to tell you, you're making more now. Okay? The market's there. You're making more now than you normally wouldn't have made, but you're preparing that's for right. the slaughterhouse. We're preparing. The Trojan horse is being released into the market. His competition won't stand a chance. With that being said, guys, look, this is the podcast episode three, how to scale your dealership overnight. John Johnson, he partnered with me 90 days later, crushed his net profit in all his companies. Your guys are getting paid more money. Your customers are so freaking happy. His customers are so happy. They're getting the best service of their life. And the marketing that we've taught to your men, the marketing techniques, it didn't cost you a dang dollar. Hmm. Yeah, actually, we cut all advertisement. All. And, and you're doing it organically. Organically free. Guys, think about that. Now, look, if you want to know how this works, shoot me a text, 918-210-0254. Get in contact with me. I'll tell you the exact way that we set it up with John. There's no difference from John and you or anyone else. It's just that, look, you got to commit. Not interested, committed. And if you need to reach out to John Johnson, you're welcome. Hit him up on Facebook, John O. Johnson, Amarillo, Texas. And, uh, hey, I love you, bro. You're amazing. Yep, I love you, too. And just, just so you guys know, if they don't reach out to you, it's cool, right? They're yep. just playing defense, not offense. That's it. I love it, man. Hey, love you guys. Have a great day. Thank you, John. You're amazing. Level up, level up, level up, level up, sky's the limit.